buying a house, what to look for. Well, let me tell you what I look for when I'm thinking about buying a house and you think about buying a personal resident. Um, think about um, schools in the area that your kids can go to. Look at the prices in that area. See if them houses are appreciated. Look at the neighborhood. Look at the crime in the area. Um, also, look and see if there's association there because sometimes these associations can be a pain in the butt. Figure out what those fees are going to be. And then also, when you're looking at a house, look at the square footage. Look at ways that you can improve that house. Look at the possible um, the price of the house compared to how much you think it could be worth. Worth one of my clients bought a house and it was actually worth forty thousand dollars more. So they have forty thousand dollars in instant equity. Look for these different things. Um, look at how the house is put in the, put together. Do you need to make repairs? You know, look at all these different things when you're looking to buy a house. And I have my free home buying guide um, that you guys can check out. It's like a course, a smaller course I put together where you guys can like easily know like the different steps, know what you should look for. Please go ahead and check it out. It's free. So definitely go ahead and check that out, you guys. Um, when to start the home buying process. I think that you guys, whenever you're looking to buy a house, I think that you should start that process right away. Like just know that you're good. So whenever you're ready to start and really go full force into, yes, I'm buying a house, let me get approved. Um, I think that you guys should start that process early. Talk to a mortgage broker, see what they're looking for, see if they're going to be able to approve you, see if your credit is good, see if your debt to income is good. So I think that you should start this, um, I'll say a few months ahead of the time time before you're looking to buy a home. And if you're last minute looking into buying a home, that don't mean that you can't buy a home right away. It just means that you have to move faster. That's all that means. So I think your first step is to talk to a mortgage broker. And if you need help talking to a mortgage broker, you want to find a good one in your area, please go ahead and contact me. You can see my number here, 407-374-2747. Please go ahead and contact me and I can help you find that mortgage broker in your area and then also find you a realtor that's in your area that can help you with the process. Um, let me actually get the, the next one. cost when buying a home. So when you guys are buying a house, this is the cost that you're looking at. You're looking at the price of the house. You're looking at any type of um, points that you guys are paying on that home. You're looking at um, your property taxes. You're looking at your insurance, your utilities. You're looking at a lot of things when you're going into buying a house. So don't just think, oh, this price looks good, or don't just look at that mortgage payments. Look at your full price in buying a house and any repairs that you're going to have on a house, you guys are going to be responsible for them. Now, I did want to share my screen because um, there's other costs that you guys have to think about. And I did a quick Google search um, just so you guys can see like the different costs that's associated with buying a home. So let me add that to my screen here. Uh -oh. Please disregard. Let me see. Let me see you guys. Let me see. Okay, that's not it. Okay, here we are here. So here is some of the costs. So you have to think about your mortgage payment, your property taxes, your homeowner insurance, any HOA fees. I forgot to say that home maintenance, repairs and utilities. Those are the expenses that you guys should think about um, when you're buying a house. But sometimes you may have realtor fees. I never thought about that part. Sometimes you guys are going to have to pay the realtor fees, um, the sale price of the house, the transfer taxes, the recording fees, and the title insurance. A lot of these fees, like these fees right here, is usually bulked into um, your mortgage. So it's already your mortgage, or are you going to get that in your um, closing costs? So, yeah, those are things you should think about. So, 
again, your mortgage payment, property taxes, homeowner insurance, mortgage insurance, um, escrow prepaid, mortgage points, closing costs, and utilities. So it's definitely a lot of things that you guys um, have to think about when you guys are purchasing a home. So just keep that in mind on the different fees that you guys are going to have to um, pay when you're buying a house home warranty when buying a house so yes they do offer a home warranty when you guys are buying a house just look and see what the home warranty is going to include sometimes you guys are buying a house especially if you guys are in a buyer's like say we in a buyer's market sometimes a lot of these sellers is going to include the home warranty like they'll pay for it you guys they'll include that home warranty if it's not a home warranty included then go ahead and talk to your mortgage broker or talk to your realtor to try to see if there's any home warranty companies out there so that you guys can have the home warranty. So if something was to happen, like with your furnace, hot water tank, you guys will be covered, especially if you guys are just buying a house for the first time. You want to have these different things covered so they're just not a bill out of nowhere that you guys will have to worry about. Questions to ask when home buying. So when you guys are home buying, the question that you guys can ask, should ask is, if you're talking to the mortgage broker, is there any fees I'm going to have to pay that's additional? How long is it going to take for me to close? Um, what's my interest rate going to be? Can I buy down my point? Can I buy down um, my rate? That's something I like to ask mortgage brokers. And then when it comes down to the realtors, you ask them too, how long is it going to take for me to close? Am I paying additional fees to you? Um, for helping me through this process, or is it just all covered with the seller? Um, maybe if you're looking at a house, you know, how how old is a hot water tank? How old is the furnace? Was this basement ever flooded if you guys have um, a basement? Those are a few questions that you get should ask um, with the home buy-in. And then also try to see um, with your realtor, try to get like some comps, see how much the other homes in the area is worth to see if you have some type of potential equity there. Where to start the home buying process. To me, the first step to start the home buying process is talking to a mortgage broker. They're the ones that's going to give you the money to even start anything. So I like to talk to them first. And I always like to tell even my clients, hey, talk to them first. See what they say about your credit report. See what they say about your debt to income ratio. See what they say about your credit score. Start there first to see where you're at. See if they can get you approved. And then about how much. Because as soon as you know those different things, you could talk to your realtor and say, hey, I'm pre-approved for this amount or hey he's looking at me get me possibly approved for this amount what type of homes are available you know in this price point but talk to that mortgage broker first i really think that that's the first step in the full process where is the best place to buy a home right now I, I honestly don't know where is the best place to buy a home. If we're talking like raw within the United States, are we talking about in your city? You know, it's a lot. <sighs> That's a tough question. When we're talking about what's the best place for you guys to buy a home, that is very, very broad. Like that is like broad question. Like, are we talking the United States? Are we talking about in your city? Are we talking about in your town? Are you talk about doing on a certain street? Are we talking about outside the country? I don't know what we're talking about. But I can say this: the best place to buy a house is where crime is very low. You have a lot of resources, a lot of great communities, and then two, the homes are appreciating fast. That's all I can think about. I think about the appreciation of the homes. I'm thinking about not having any crime. So if you guys have kids or even if you guys are there, um, you guys can even rent that property out without a problem. If you decide to leave, you know, try to look at the price of the home and how much equity you're going to be buying into. Also, so if you buy a house, you're going to have any equity. Those are the things I can think about when you think about where is the best place to buy a home. So that can be somewhere in your city. That could be somewhere in your state. That can be somewhere in this country or even outside the country. But look for those different things. Which is the home buy-in checklist. 
So I have a free home buying checklist on my website that you guys can check out. So please go ahead, use that link down below. I have a free home buying checklist where it tells you the different steps that you have to take to buy a home so that you guys can just start checking these different things off. Like, okay, let's make sure that my credit score high enough to get approved check make sure my debt to income ratio you know my debt to income ratio is good check make sure i talk to a mortgage broker and get pre-approved check make sure i connect with my realtor so i can start looking for homes check start looking at homes and putting a list together of the homes that i want check actually start doing my showings and narrow down the house check <laughs> put my deposit in my earnest money deposit in check you know i have that full guide in that list um on my free mini course that I created, please go ahead and check it out. It's free for you guys to check it out. But that way you guys can know like what's the process of what you have to do to buy a home and you can start checking off the different things on the list. Can I buy a house from the owner? You can definitely buy a house directly from the owner. You don't necessarily have to even connect with a realtor. You can just buy it directly from the owner, but just be prepared and, you know, be prepared to do a lot of research. I would still say deal with a title company and still um, get the house looked up just to make sure that you're buying a house that's going to be free and clear of any types of loans or encumbrances. Like you guys have to check that out. Okay. Just keep that in mind. And you guys can do something called a land contract or you guys can do a um what is that i forgot what's that that is called where you guys can actually make payments where i forgot oh like a rent to own i'm sorry oh <laughs> answer a lot of questions you guys can do a rent to own too where you guys can just pay um, and pay their house off like that or you can pay it off and then in probably a year or two you can go ahead and refinance and actually just buy that house outright but you can definitely buy it directly from the owner just be prepared to do a lot of research why home buying is a bad investment well a home buying could be a bad investment for a lot of reasons. Let me tell you why I think home buying for me right now is a bad investment. The areas that I want to stay in right now, rent is definitely cheaper than what it would be if I was to actually pay a mortgage. And then also, too, I am not sold on an area that I want to be in. And right now, um, the rates are not favorable to me right now. I don't like the rates right now. So it can be a bad investment because of that. The amount that I'll have to put down on a property, I could have just paid that amount in rent and I can deduct since I have a home office, I can deduct that on my taxes. I can deduct part of my rent on my taxes. That's more than I'll be able to deduct in interest payments if I was to have a mortgage. So that's another reason why. And then I'm, I guess I'm not sold in my area. I may want to be in a different area. I'll be paying way more for my mortgage than if I was to be... Um, renting so that could be it could be a bad investment like that and then also too if something was to go wrong with the house we just had the hurricane that didn't technically hit my insurance where my insurance would have went up that actually hit the homeowner like i'm in florida those are a few reasons why homeowner um, buying a home could be a bad investment but depending on what area you are in how much you would have to pay or with paying rent, it may be a good investment for you actually buy a home. But look at the total cost in fees and think about where you stand now, what was happening with the house that you're in now, how much money you would have to pay out of pocket for where you're at now. So keep that in mind, you guys. And I know for sure that it's a great possibility that the price of the house right now that I'm in is going to drop. <laughs> and I would hate to have a mortgage on this property and then it drop. I would rather just buy it as soon as it drop. I wouldn't care about paying a higher interest rate, but just make sure the house is cheaper. You know, that's what I that's how I feel about it. And then the first property that I ever bought was cash. So just getting a mortgage, it's just kind of make me feel a certain type of way. I just, I'm not completely sold, but think about those different reasons and, you know, talk to a mortgage broker, talk to a realtor, but don't forget to, they get paid when you actually buy your house. So they may not give you all the full details, but talk to them and see what type of fees you're going to have to pay. Look at Zillow and see how much the house was worth before, how much it can potentially be worth in the future. Look at like the different numbers and you make an informed decision on your own on whether it's a good investment or if it's going to be a bad investment for you.
why buying a home is not worth it. Buying a house is not worth it if you guys can pay more in rent than you guys will have to pay on a mortgage because you guys are not going to have that full responsibility. And then also, even if you guys will have to pay a little bit more on your mortgage and you'll have to pay on your rent, um, think about it like this too. Sometimes people like to move a lot. And if you like, if you like to move a lot, then you are not going to possibly keep the house for long you're going to want to sell it and when you want to sell it you may not get what you want to get for it you know maybe you guys um are going to have a lot of repairs on the house and maybe you don't have a lot of money saved up maybe you're in debt right now maybe you need to get these different things done so if you guys have this going on, you know, buying a house, it may not be worth it for you right now. And that's OK. That's OK. Whenever it is worth it for you, then go ahead and jump on it. But it may not be worth it for everybody. OK, and that's fine. Does buying a home increase your credit score? Yes, buying a home could increase your credit score because you have another account reporting onto your credit report. So it's going to be reporting as an installment account. Just make sure that you guys are paying your mortgage on time. If you guys have any late payments, um, if you guys like paying your mortgage late, these things are going to drop your credit score a lot. So just make sure that you guys are paying your mortgage on time and you guys should see a great increase in your credit score. Now, I told you guys about the five ways to increase your credit score, 60 points in 60 days. Please go ahead and check that out. The five ways to increase your credit score, 60 points in 60 days. Uh, this is very, very important for those home buyers, especially because sometimes if you just increase your credit score a little bit more, you will get a better interest rate. Your interest rate is going to go off of what your credit score is. So the better your credit score, the better interest rate you're going to get. So go ahead and check this out. I have it for free for you guys. So definitely go ahead um, and check it out and follow the five different ways to increase your credit score. I also have my membership you guys can check out. So with my membership, I can actually hold your hand through this process and say, hey, I looked at your credit reports today. This is what you need to do. And then we're going to keep meeting up. So the first time we're going to meet up, I'm going to send you a video looking at your credit reports and say, hey, this is what we have to do to remove some of these accounts. Then next, I want to possibly apply for credit cards, fix your utilization. Um, that's usually two weeks after we start. But through those 60 days, I'm holding your hand through the process and telling you exactly what you need to do. But definitely go ahead and check that out. The five ways to increase your credit score at 60 points in 60 days. And I'll also give you free dispute letters. So it's no reason why you shouldn't check it out. Go ahead and check it out and let me know if you guys um, have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And then please go ahead and call me. Call or text me. Um, my phone number is 407-374-2747. You can call or text me. I can help you find a mortgage broker. I can help you find a realtor that's in your area. And then, too, if you're in my area, I'm in like the Orlando area, the Cassini area, the Poinciana area, um, Winter Park, wherever you're at, like in that type of area, I can actually help you through that process of buying a home. I'll be happy to help you through that process. So please just go ahead and call or text me. Um, I'll be able to help you. And then don't forget to, I have that link down below so you can get my free home buying course. It's free. It's so Y'all, it's, it's so short. Like you literally can go through that thing in a day. You can know exactly what you need to look for, what the process is going to be like so you can stop being scared. And then your realtor is going to hold your hand and say, OK, this is the step that we're in. And they'll tell you what you have to do going forward. That way you just don't be so scary. But I'm happy you guys made it to the end. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Call or text me anytime. Um, you can also call or text me at 833-RIKITA. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.